What's up everybody, this is Trish and I'm here with another episode of Fishplay. Last week we announced that we're back to our normal schedule, which means more community play days, more of these videos and so on. As some of you might know, in Fishplay we try some community main maps and show you how they work. We want to keep this series fresh though, so we would like you all to tell us what you think about it. If there's anything else that you would like to see or anything, else, anything that you would like to change, just let us know in the comments. For example, um, a community member told us that we should include more campaign maps as well as older maps. So we're gonna try to do that in our following videos and stay tuned for that. And now, let's go to the maps. The first map is Office by Punjabi or Punjabi, I'm not sure. But yeah, this map, as the name says, is basically um, a building, like an office building. Um, it has different spaces, like inside the spaces, like this area where fighting people, it's pretty hard because you have to be precise. But you also have this um, like open, open areas where it's basically the outside of the building. And well, yeah, you have uh, this area especially. There are a lot of weapons that you can see right now, right there. Um, they are hidden weapons or weapons that you might have to kind of like explore around and see how you can get to them because you can see them but getting to them is a tricky part. They are worth the time that you might take trying to get them though but of course you also have to fight other people for them. Um, like everyone was trying to get like decent weapons so that was challenging but it made it fun. This map is Secret Sector by Look, it's Mr. T. This map, I wouldn't, I don't, I'm not sure how to describe it. I guess, well, Secret Sector, yes, it's sort of like a, a building that it's hidden in, like, among these mountains. Um, I really like the look and feel of it. Um, you know, there's this cascade and. It looks pretty believable, you have the mountains and you have to kind of like hike them somehow and try to like fight everyone. You can find people inside as, as there is, as you can see in this pod, um, there, uh, or you can fight them outside as here. Um, all of the weapons, uh, they actually in made the look and feel of this video better. Um, because they are kind of accurate to the area where you can find them and there's also a nice variety and well we definitely um, enjoy just killing each other and we like this sort of variety of areas that you get and well obviously it's very well designed there's, there's a lot of thought that was put into this map um, you can tell by the way everything is like placed or located like it just works as a unit. It looks like very different or like a big variety, but everything just works together. And we had quite a lot of fun fighting here. And this is Operation D357 by Incendiary. Um. This map made me feel like in a spy movie. Like I was definitely a spy trying to infiltrate in this secret facility and apparently have a mission which is to get this special weapon so I can defeat this group. And that works pretty well. Um, this map as you can see has secrets and like quite a lot of them. It's not just the one that I just showed that I just showed you. It's like they have a lot of places um, it's really well designed because um, as you would imagine a secret facility would kind of make you lost if you don't know it and yeah I got lost several times with this map and, but I never found it annoying and I felt like every area was different like every area actually had a purpose it wasn't like oh yeah let's just make a lot of bunch of rooms and join them together via maze. No, every area had like a purpose, it was different, like every area was unique 
and yeah you have to find a lot of like keys and solve puzzles and like like here's sort of like hack terminals to um, be able to get to your objective and you have these different enemies as well and just different areas like this futuristic one that was pretty good and that's something that I didn't expect which is what I enjoy the most about this map I guess I just didn't know what to expect it surprised me every time which is pretty good with a campaign and if you like a sort of long map this would definitely work for you um, it's not a campaign it's just one map but we would love to see a series of it because it's quite long and just generally enjoyable um, I think it's one of those th maps that we would definitely recommend people to go try it and enjoy it because we are sure that you will love it like we're just sure that you're gonna enjoy it and it has a boss and everything at the end and I won't tell you more but pretty good map this map is SLR 2097 uh, this map is basically a sort of futuristic city um, yeah. as you can see it has a very minimalistic style um, doesn't it's just ba a lot of buildings that are placed together in this sort of island or beach area I don't know I also felt like I was in a sort of futuristic resort like I wasn't during like <laughs> in the middle of my holidays um, but yeah it's a big map um, it might not look like but it's actually quite big so we would recommend you to play this with a lot of people if you can get a bunch of your friends that would be great otherwise you might not find them like they might be hiding somewhere and you definitely won't find them um, but besides that it's pretty fun um, because it's an open space it makes it um, easier to fight everyone in that sense at least um, and well even if it's quite big um, you just use these um, green pads and they will uh, take you to another side of the map well you will like jump on one it will get you to another one and so on but as you can see a lot of the time we spend on this map was just fighting on the sidelines or in the middle of the map which is also quite good um, this map would benefit from uh, perhaps a bit more of variety in the weapons but that I mean I'm saying that because I'm terrible with the rocket launcher um, but if you're good with that or with the other weapon that you get you won't have an issue like most of the people that were playing on this on this game and on this session and yeah we enjoy this map a lot And now we have Temple of Doom by Fiery Phoenix. Um, well, I think like temple maps, they are quite popular, but we love them all. Um, we we do think that a well designed temple map works really well, Espe like not only for um like campaign maps, but like this one for like team and just free for all. It works really well. Uh, this map has the outside area that you just saw but it also has this sort of secret hidden area which is the actual temple and the surprising part is that it's not just one section of the temple like a pyramid and that's it the temple has this all of these kind of rooms as you can see here um, you have to explore all of the different rooms to get different weapons um, the weapons are kind of like themed so if you go to um, to certain like more of like classic temple like you will get a shotgun but you also get um, this futuristic um, weapon in this sort of futuristic area and so on um, so it's up to you to explore because the inside of the temple is a lot bigger than it looks like and it looks like it actually goes down like underground as well but yeah the fun part would be outside 
Once you get your weapon, just get outside to the arena area where you can fight everyone, and it's pretty good. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Remember to send us your favorite maps for us to try. And if you're a creator or a YouTuber of your own, send us your videos as well. We want to watch them. And well, also to share them with the community. And now, see you next week with more maps. Bye!